footy. It's been over five months since our last official game. Obviously a lot of work in that time, but also a chance to step away from footy a little bit. What have you been up to in, in that time? Yeah, obviously Gibbo, it was, uh, it was a long year last year, there's no question about that, but having a break was a great time to just get away and reset and spend some time up in Queensland, up in Byron Bay, had a bit of a surf, but once again just reflected on the journey so far, where we've been successful, what's created being successful, and then really where we take it next, and um, that's obviously the challenge of a coach, you never really switch off, you're always thinking about what's next and, and where our opportunities lie. Coming into a new season, are you feeling as refreshed as you have in, in previous years? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've had a great summer. Um, you know, it's been a, a longer summer than the year before. So um, it's been a great opportunity to get plenty of work into the guys and get them physically prepared for what the game's going to demand, but also a chance for, for everyone just to take stock of what was achieved last year, but make sure we're really well prepared for the year ahead. It's a different position for the group to previous seasons, obviously coming off the Premiership. Have you had to chat to the boys at all about getting the motivation high given that we are going to be hunted now? Oh, look, we've spoken about what our challenge is ahead and we've set some lofty goals for what that may look like and um, internally the group's incredibly motivated to continue to have sustained success and you know, we took them pretty quickly back to the feeling of what it was like on grand final day and what that feeling of success was like and to never forget what that feeling is about because that'll help drive you for your next part of your journey and um, you, know, you can only go by what the players have produced in the summer and you know they've come back in great physical shape they've trained incredibly hard and you can see that they're really determined to do well and uh, put their flag in the ground for a successful season again. Obviously the results in the Amy Community Series aren't everything what do you take from the Carlton performance heading into round one? Yeah, look, we were absolutely wrapped with our performance against North Melbourne in terms of the way we went about our footy. Um, the Carlton performance, not so much. Um, you know, probably didn't reflect how we'd um, been going through the summer and, and what we were about. So we learnt from that, but I think we got our first lesson on the competition. It's tough, it's hard. Um, opposition are out there to, to hunt you and, and play well against you. So um, it was a great sort of eye-opener for us heading into round one and the season ahead and the challenges that are, are going to be presented to us. No doubt the Bulldogs will be hungry on Wednesday night. I'm sure the club's aware of that. How do you feel like the boys have prepared and are ready for that challenge? Oh, look, we know we're up against the quality side. You know, they didn't finish where they finished last year for no reason. Um, and they're going to be very well prepared. And, you know, they've had a really good summer. You can see that in the way they performed throughout the, the JLT. Um, so, look, we're, um, we're ready. We're ready to embrace that expectation. You know, we've earned the right to play in that game. Um, in front of our home supporters and uh, we can't wait to get out there and perform for them and that's our challenge to, to prepare well, to embrace that expectation and to, and to perform.